Hey, I'm Seth with Land the House. I purchased the Midnight Solar Whizbang Junior. This is a amp reader that will go onto a shunt and it will tell me an accurate reading of my hydro and solar going into the batteries and also what's being used into the house, hopefully. So I've never used one of these before. Let's install it and see what happens. So the first thing is the shunt needs to have the battery connection and also all of the other stuff. So charge controllers, inverters, uh, and all that stuff. So I'm going to have to have more than just this one post here. What I'm gonna do is use this bus bar. And so I'm going to just mount this here on this two by four and then put the shunt here. And I will connect the battery uh, terminal. I'm gonna turn this one to here and then this one to the battery. And that will allow me to connect all these to my other electronics. This is a piece of treated two by four. Okay, got these two mounted on this board. Now I've got this little sleeve here that is supposed to bring the uh, whiz bang up off of this surface a little bit. Let's see if I can get that installed. So if I want this side to be my battery, then the purple wire is supposed to go off in that direction. So let's see if we can't get all of these on here in the right spot. Maybe a little bit of trial and error. Okay, up under the house here, I've got the Whizbang Junior on the shunt with a bus bar onto this block of wood. And I drilled a hole through the middle here so I can mount this to my concrete uh, wall. So the battery is gonna go to this side, which is on the way of the uh, purple cord here. And so this needs to go up here to the bus bar so that uh, everything else can be attached here. Let me show you what I'm working with. Uh, so, I've got a uh, micro hydro here, which has one black negative. I've got this grid tie inverter, which has one uh, negative. This one's got a negative and this other charge controller over here. And then I'm going to be expanding all of this in the future to uh, an off grid inverter on the far side over there uh, or over here. I'm not sure yet. Um, so there's gonna be one, two, three, four, and then five, um, uh, negatives that will go to this piece. That's why I have to have the bus bar on there to add all these together. I'm gonna go ahead and shut everything down here. So the hydro is already off. The solar is now off. And so now I can go ahead and kill the power to this one, the classic. And then I can get the power to this one over here. And then these to turn them off, I just have to unplug them. That one's pushing 287 watts into the house, 292 watts into the house, which is pretty awesome. So um, to get these to stop, I'm just going to unplug them here. Yeah, and they're going to uh, stop feeding power. There we go. I attached the bus bar with a small piece of wire here. And I decided not to cut my other two and just used this uh, bolt here. So I have three connections there and two over here. And so whenever I have my off-grid inverter, I can just add that over here to the bus bar. And now I have got a uh, hole in my concrete. I should be able to get this tap con in here, no problem. Very cool. And that'll just sit on the wall. And now my long uh, battery cable here can go to the last remaining bolt over here on the shunt. Get that nice and tight. Okay, very cool. Now that should be connected there. And next thing is to attach this little purple wire to the Midnight Solar. Okay, here's the inside of the Midnight Solar Classic 250 on my hydro unit. 
and I've got the purple wire stuck up in here. And I'm going to be going into this green box under auxiliary two positive. Make sure I've got that unscrewed enough. And then I'm going to see about sneaking that wire up in there. It's a little tiny. I think they said it was a 22 gauge. There we go, auxiliary two positive. Let's do a quick walkthrough. The negative of the battery kind of circles over here and goes to this post here, which has the Whizbang Junior wire facing this direction like it says to do. And then next we go across the shunt to this piece here. And this one has one wire going off to the bus bar and then it has four wires coming out from that. One to the Hydro 250 Classic, one to the 200 Classic for the solar, and then we've got the two grid tie inverters here uh, right now. So like I said, later I'm gonna put an off-grid system which will be tied off to the bus bar as well so I can monitor that when the internet is turned on. Okay, let's go ahead and get everything turned back on. So let's power up this Classic that has the internet. Go ahead and turn this one on over here. So from the main menu, go over to uh, AUX or Auxiliary. And then we're gonna go to Auxiliary 2. Uh, press this key to set up. Okay, I had to push the up button until I find the Whizbang Junior here. So we got that. Now that I have the Whizbang Junior installed, I can open up my Classic Monitor app. And uh, let me just show you what it looks like here. So we are running the um, consumption in the house of around 180 to 200 watts. Um, so check this out. Whenever I cut off this light. Um, so let's see. So we're running at 167. Let me turn off this other light here. It's gonna show 161. Let's see, turn off some more lights here. This one will do it, it's got four lights going. So there's 135, 116. So basically, you can uh, see how much is being consumed here in the house and then if I also go to state of charge you can see that 187 is going into the batteries that 180 so now if I uh, turn some lights on it will reduce that so like now it's at 155 um, so anyway you can see that it is um, uh, showing the uh, input from the hydro here as 311 watts 304 watts. So anyway, that whiz bang just lets you see what's going into the batteries and out of the batteries. Thank you so much for watching this video. The whiz bang junior with shunt is definitely nice to see um, because this is just the hydro going into the batteries. And so whenever the solar panels are kicking into high gear, you can actually see a difference with the uh, consumption based on those extra watts. So anyway, you can buy a midnight solar uh, Whizbang Junior from several different places. I think I got mine from uh, Northern Wind and Sun. So anyway, I um, hope you found this video uh, helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.